Hey guys, JDB Gaming here, and welcome back to a brand new Survive the Hunt. Now, first things first, I just need to go and obliterate this man because he's really annoyed me. So let's get rid of him. The reason being is because he decided to shoot out all my tires. So as I'm going to get going, I'm not going to be able to go very far with this because I have got zero tires, as you can see. Pain in the arse, Hydro. Thank you very much for that. I have also not turned off my map off, so I'm going to quickly do that. Let's go settings. That, wow, I have not done that in a while. Let's display radar off. And then let's to the play overhead display name to none as well. There we go. Wow, what of a rough start for that, eh? Okay, so welcome to a brand new Survive the Hunt. A bit of an unorthodox intro. Oh. Oh. Okay, yeah, let's just let's just get out of this as soon as possible. There's no point messing about. And let's just pick up you because you're the nearest thing to me. And don't have to worry about a smashed window either. Cool. Lovely. And then we can just get rid of the cops nice and quick. So, welcome back to a Survivor the Hunt. It's been a bloody long time since we've done one of these. What am I looking for? Lester. Gone past him. God, it's been a while. So, to show you how long it has been, last time I did one of these... It was the one service? all the way back in October, so, okay, so you're in October trouble. Halloween, so it really has been help. a long okay, time since I've done one of these. Now, I know some of you have been waiting patiently for them, and some of you might have been like, first video you've released in ages, and it was a, what was it, it was a uh, heavy metal surviving, like, what's going on? You know, it's, you know, I'm not going to go into details, but let's just say the end of 2022 sucked. Or oh, it's sucking. I just want the end of it. I'm not, you know, the whole year has been a bit off, really. I mean, it's had its ups. Like, my channel getting to 1,000 subscribers and doing the live stream was incredible. And I never thought I'd get to 1,000 subscribers alone, you know, blah, blah, blah. I'm not going to say <laughs> say what I've said before. But, you know, that alone was huge. And then the live stream was a huge success, too. Like, you guys absolutely loved it. Never thought I'd do either. And, yeah, it was incredible. So, you know, it's it's been all right in that sense but yeah the end of this year has been crappy oh that's that's all i'm gonna go into it <laughs> but i'm back and hopefully we can get a survive the hunt win because it's been a while since i've had a win but then it has been a while since i've done one full stop but anyway we sidetracked for this hunt as well as i've had such a long time to think about what we can do and what the next hunt's going to be i've slightly tweaked the ending so normally with a survive the hunt It'll be a case of, well, if I manage to survive 24 hours, once the 24 hours are up, oh, there's an AI crossing the street, I normally see that. Once 24 hours are up, it's a case of, oh, yay, I've won, survived 24 hours, yep, all good. You know, the objectives are just there to be as a case of just make the content interesting, because if we didn't have objectives, of which, speaking of objectives, let me show you the objective map now. We've got 10 delicious cars all dotted over the place for you lovely lot to, uh, well, it will have a look at it right now for me to go for and I have had a two hour head start and that ends at midday which is soon enough I won't say all the 10 car positions because you can see them on the map but so with these cars they're normally just there solely for me to make the content a bit a bit uh, what's the word I'm looking for um, add a bit of tension essentially because I have to go out of my way to do something risky and I might have a run in with a hunter because if we didn't have them I could just act as a normal AI drive safely and you know probably do that for 24 hours I think a few people could easily do that so it makes it a little bit more exciting it gives it more of a challenge as well he's just gone oh he's gone to turn right okay nice anyway and so that's the main purpose of the objectives now the objectives are actually playing a role in this survive the hunt now what I mean by that is so there are 10 I have to blow up half now if by the end of the 24 hours if I've blown up five cars that entitles me to have a nice chill end. You know, like a normal one. It's, I've blown up half of them. I'm good. I can now qualify for a nice, simple, watch the clock down, end of the hunt. Like any sort of hunt would be. I just want to see what the clock is. So the hunters have been released now. I do have a two hour period where I cannot blow any cars up. So I will start making my way towards one. So we can try and get a nice early one as we get going. If so five cars so if say we have lots of chases and i don't quite get five what is going on if i don't manage to get five by the end of the hunt oh i've also just realized i haven't changed my style that's nice okay i've been so chatting so much let's just see if i can quickly do that
Can you can you tell it's been a while? There's my guy. I've got a hat on as well, but when I'm in a car, the hat comes off, so it's all nice. <laughs> Whoa, it's been a while, can you guys tell? But it's all good. No no hunter came past then, so we're all good. We can uh Oh my god, carry on. So, if five cars don't get blown up, then I can end the hunt in a slightly different way. So there are three car parks that have been chosen. There is the one next to the red car park, which actually is that one right there. So in the distance with the three levels, that is one of the car parks. The other one is the multicolored car park, which is by opposite the movie studios. And the last one is in Strawberry, which is the one that's right next to where your car gets impounded in the game. I'm sure as the game gets going, I can point out the car parks to you if you're not too familiar with what I'm on about. But out of those three car parks, I have to get to the roof of one of them. Oh, I just flashed the... No one's behind me, thank God. I have to get to the rooftop of one of them, and then that counts as an escape. All I have to do, just get to the rooftop, and then obviously drive for the ramp. So if I do that, if I do that combination, that qualifies as a win for the survival hunt. But only as long as I haven't blown up five cars. Uh, hopefully I've explained this well. Um, I explained it a lot better to the guys when I was saying the idea, but I think it's because I'm having to concentrate on my driving. Also, I want to make sure that I'm being clear to you, my viewers, and hopefully it comes across well. And I'm trying to also make sure that I don't <laughs> repeat myself about 5,000 times. But, yeah. So, basically, we're just mixing up the ending, making it a little bit different, and so it's not just a case of if I do manage to get 24 hours, it's a done, dusted, boom. You know, if I've got five hours, if five hours, I've got five cars, then it is a case of I've got a lot of action in the hunt. I've done my job to get and qualify 24 hours. But if I haven't been able to get the five, I then have to go risky for a car park. The other thing with the car park as well is if I'm not to the rooftop by the end of the 24 hours, I have then an additional two hours afterwards to get to the top of the rooftop. But the flip side to that is if I'm, is the hunters will be told by the person who's recording the map, which is Lauren Kazgomu, which car park I'm heading for. So she doesn't know, I don't know, we'll decide that comes to the end of it if it needs to be decided towards the end of it. There is our first hunter racing past, and... Impromptu didn't come up for him. Phew. Okay. Um. Yeah, so they will be told which direction I am heading on the map. So they'll be said, like, oh, he's heading towards Strawberry. Oh, he's heading towards the movie studio. Oh, he's heading towards the car park next to the red car park. You know what I'm saying? So they'll basically know. I mean, to be fair, I could be heading towards the one by the red car park and then go past him for the colourful. You know what I'm saying? So it's not like they're being completely told this one because... I don't know. It's, it's a completely brand new idea. You know, we don't like camping with cars. This does have potential for potential you know for camping on the rooftops i don't imagine the guys will because it's a bit boring doing that but you know say we come to the end of it they will be hovering probably if there's like two hours left of the 24 and i've blown up four cars it wouldn't surprise me if we started to see some of them hover towards the car park just to see if any cars enter because you know well it's where the action is going to be isn't it so I, I don't blame them if that's the, the scenario also speaking of the two hours for me to blow up has expired so time for me to go and blow up a car and I think the first one I'm going to go for is the one that's right next to me which is the FIB underground car park so I think without a shadow of a doubt which is literally just across the this Legion Square block from me that's what we're going to aim for so I'm just going to make sure that I'm all good by me uh, my carrot also has sunglasses on which he does have and he also has a hat on too now they aren't going to necessarily know what I look like. I mean, they can tell from my shirt. I'm going to see if I can try and do something sneaky. Can I take off my... Can I take my glasses off? Oh, I can't see. What a time for glare to come in when you're trying to look at your character. Yay, the glasses are off. Look at that, baby. Okay, cool. The other thing I just need to check is radio is off because I don't want my character dancing. Okay, cool. It's looking good. Good start. How many hours have us five? <laughs> Two and a bit. Yes, we're getting there, guys. It's an improvement. Oh, I'm joking. I've never died that quick. Spoiler. Um, but hey, okay. Let's see how we go. Um, I've said that all I've needed to say. I've probably forgotten to say something else. Oh, okay. So he's blocked the entrance to it, which isn't necessarily a bad thing. Just want to make sure that there's no cars coming, so we can flip a Yui. Oh, 
why it's not blocked that side. Cheeky sod. Thinking, do I just steal a car and just change my exit strategy? Yeah, I say we just go for the Vigero. Right, okay. Um, you can see my character moving as I change up this. Now, I'm just, before I steal this, I just want to make sure Hello. that I've got Corp Sound of Line Die off. I'll deal with it. Okay, this is going to be quite noisy in here because it does echo. I'm not too bothered by the Vigero either because it is quite a quick car, so that doesn't phase me. Now, we can get a grenade. As long as I can see it, I can blow it up. Chuck the grenade. Cock it, drop it, and watch the bad boy blow up. There is it's blown. So now we make my escape. The only thing with this is I'm going to have to be careful with... Ex you know, accelerating, because this thing does tend to... Well, with all muscle cars, it takes a long time for the wheels to spin and then eventually get going. So, apart from that, this car's actually quite a quick one. So, I'm not too fussed about owning a muscle car. So, I'm, I'm quite happy in that sense. I want to keep moving quite quickly as well. So, I'm just going to keep on the move. So, even though there's a green light, oh, there's a red light, I'm just going to move it along. See anyone around me? No. That's an AI. What the hell? So I think ah. we're clear. I mean, something's going on because there's a lot of AIs freaking out. So there's clearly a hunter in the vicinity. I think he's that one right there. Can we get a green light? <laughs> Not really liking what's going on. <laughs> Yeah, green light. I'm not <laughs> wasting any time. I'm scooching on. Don't like the fact that all these AIs are freaking out. And I'm going to take another right. Because I'm thinking a good car we could be going for is the one over so by uh, the football pitch. Head over in that direction see if I can get that one. I've got 58 seconds to see if I can get get it before my cops on a blind eye expires. I might be lucky enough. I don't know. I don't think I'm going to have the, the luck of the lights. So I might just have to ride it out. And we might might then scooch on over to the mirror park. And then rotate. What are you doing? What? What is he doing? I mean, it's, it's an AI. Well, I mean, you're in the bloody way, so what do you mean you're going to be the bigger part? Okay, that is a first time. I've never had that happen to me before. Just an AI randomly. He hasn't damaged the car too much, so I'm not too concerned. Oh, I don't want to go that way. Took a left turn too early. I don't know. I'm a little bit suspect of that car behind me. Oh, speaking of cars, there's one right there. Please stand behind you, please stand behind you. No, he hasn't, thank God for that. He's moved on. Ooh, okay. God, it gets the blood pumping when you've got a hunter literally right there. It's just it's just the fact that if he was to snap onto me, I'd then be immediately into a chase. It's not necessarily that that sort of terrors me. It terrifies me, and it's not even like dying that terrifies me either. It's more just the, the fact that he could quite literally just have one shot to me and then that's it, boom. It gets me in the head, it's five hundred dumb. So Oh, I'm guessing Yeah, he's causing a bit more chaos. I'm sort of slowly following him. Not intention <coughs> Oh excuse me, not intentionally, it just seems to be happening that way. And the AIs are behind behaving behind me. So the next car apparently is on the full pitch. Inspired by the World Cup that's still going on, or as this is this is being recorded the weekend before Christmas, so literally the final is tomorrow. So we record on Saturday evenings. So yeah, so by the time you guys probably watch this, which will be a couple of days after the World Cup, if not the day after, um, you will know who who's won the World Cup. Whereas me, I'm clueless at this point. It's like time travel, not really, but yeah. 
<laughs> anyway. Um, God, it's been a while since I've done this. I hope my... Uh, oh! <laughs> Mass confusion between the hunters. What is going on there? That's going to be one hell of a so what happened moment. Something else that I've sort of been slacking on at the minute. And I do fully... I'm fully aware of that. But it will be coming up shortly. So don't worry about that. I think that's just an AI. So I'm just going to whip a Yui. The reason why I'm doing this is just so I can get a better angle. So I can park up a bit nicer. Because I think I'm just going to park up here. There's the car as well. Okay. I mean, there's people walking about down here, so that's not a big, not a big deal. It's not like I'm out of the norm having a walk around the skate park or anything. Okay, so we're gonna have to do cops, not cops on a blind eye because I haven't got enough time for that. We're gonna have to do remove wanted level, which is fine. What's up, Doc? Oh, just a bit more stressful. I did not mean to do that. That was an accident. Right, as long as I can see it, I can blow it up. Whoa, man. Whoa run away, run away, run away, run away, run away. What? Run away, run away, run away, run away. Can we get inside quickly? Come on, let's uh, uh, rely on here, you around. buddy. How can I help? Cool. Oh hey, you're in trouble. Hmm. Okay, I'll so deal I'm with it. Ducking down, because I just want to see. Okay, he's inspecting the area. Bit of a risky strategy, this, but I'm just hoping he doesn't see me until I'm by. Drive on by, Mark. Go on. He he has really seen me. Oh, that could have been so beneficial to him if he managed to see where I was. Prompty race, that's fine. I'm assuming it's because Mark's there. That one's about in the region. There's a hunter. Oh, uh -oh. has he seen me? Do you reckon? Oh my god, this is nerve wracking as hell. I now need to find a way to naturally reverse out of here and get out of the way. That was a AI. Oh, nice. Get stuck on the bloody fireman's body. <sighs> okay. Breathe. Okay, that could have that could have gone pear shaped. A couple of hunters did roll down past me, but thankfully nothing to worry about, so we can move on. Okay. Two cars down in quick time. So midday, remember, is when we started, but. Yeah, midday is when we started. Yeah, I was going to say, but it was two hours later, but actually I, I got going at ten. But yeah, midday is when we start and finish. So we've had seven. Seven hours, two cars, and I remember I only need to get five to qualify for that dub. Well, to qualify to win the Survivor Hunt without having to worry about any of that car parking nonsense. We also, as I've just reminded myself by talking about it again, do have another scenario for if I don't manage to survive in 24 hours so if I manage to get chased down just could hear that chopper okay let's move on that's fine it just had me nervous for a second because our eyes in the skies he's got bloody eyes like an eagle he can spot anything it just had me concerned that was all but no there's nothing it's full slum Whew, breather we can carry on okay Right, what was I saying? Um, yeah, so we do also have a scenario for if I don't manage to survive 24 hours. So if we get into a chase and the hunters manage to, we get in a gunfight and the hunters manage to do better than I do and they manage to kill me, then 
basically the hunt will switch from a survive the hunt into another scenario now that scenario we'll get into it when it comes to me dying because i don't want to talk about it and put any of you off potentially um and also it might not happen so what we'll do oh god Oh god, what are you doing, woman? Why why have you done that? I mean, I think she's actually overtaking the person on the right, not me. Whoa, okie dokie. Just got cut up by this car in front of me. Nice. Got a l oh, Yeah, nice. Gotta love it when people do that to you, haven't you? That's what I was going to say, and then I stopped myself from saying it. I don't know why. But yeah. Oh, just uh, any sort of bad driving. Oh, anyway, <laughs> little sidetrack there. Uh, so, what else can I go for cars-wise? We've managed to blow up the one by the FIB. This one towards. We also have Mirror Park over in that sort of top right region. So, I might, I might leave that towards the end just so we sort of have the uh, hunters split up. We know we also have this one here as well, which is the train diner. I might skip that and go towards golf court. Ooh, flash the reverse lights, which AIs don't do, but I think we're fine. Um, might go to the golf course actually. Do a hip and a scop, hip and a scop, hip and a skip to the next car. So, veto this one that we're just coming up by. Go past it. Go to the golf course instead. But yeah. Two cars down. I'm pretty proud of myself. I've normally had hunts where I've not had such a good track record, particularly in late hunt, late in the latest hunts I've done with cars being blown up and like getting the objectives. So, you know, it's not too bad. You know, I know one of my phrases is heavy metal surviving, which I I can't remember the last time I've done that, but it's tricky because obviously the more hunts I've done, I think I'm closing in on 40 just still the orange car behind the train diner there. Um, my hunters have had more and more and more practice and they're becoming bloody good and there's nothing wrong with that the more i improve the more they improve and the more this content gets good but i can't quite be so risky because if i do something as stupid like that now it's more likely going to result in me having an early death which is not what we want we want me to survive this many for hours at least we think we do i know the majority of you actually just here want the chases don't you um but those will come don't you worry we i think we're in a decent vehicle for a chase anyway so I'm happy. But yeah, we'll see how it goes. It just really honestly depends as well as to what the cars, the um, the uh, hunters are driving. Wow, how did I forget the name of hunters? Sorry, just having a drink. Woo. Yeah. Oh, it has been a while, hasn't it? Since I've done one of these, it has been a long, long time. And uh, it's felt weird my end. Uh, in the meanwhile, the guys and I, we've been doing other things on GTA, it's just, yeah, it's just one of those things. I haven't been quite in the right mindset to do a hump, and I didn't want to sort of force myself to do it, uh, so, yeah, uh, I'm not going to go into it, but it is what it is, it's happened, but we're back, and hopefully we can get the ball rolling, and hopefully 2023 will serve as a good year as well. I'm also thinking, because we've done lots of playlist videos and stuff, of instead of doing, I know most YouTubers do like a highlights of all the videos you've posted on, on 2022, I'm thinking of just doing like some highlights of content or footage you wouldn't have seen, so like a playlist video of funny moments and stuff like that essentially. Um, just because those play we've had some brilliant moments during a playlist that I might not necessarily put, put out there, so I'm thinking it might, instead of it being a... 2023 best 20, 2023 2022 best moments it'll be a 2022 best moments you haven't seen essentially but yeah we'll come to it if you guys like that idea you'd like to see some of that let me know in the comments down below um also let me know what you think about the new ideas of that twist of the end it's it's uh, i don't you know i don't want to talk about it all the time during the hunks i've already di digressed on it but it's just it's just I added a bit of risk factor to the end. I just felt like sometimes, oh, that's a hunter. I can also hear the chopper as well, which I don't like. But yeah, we'll just have to see how that goes. I'm pretty certain that was a hunter. Very much acted like one.
Okay, no. He's gone off. That's fine with me. Okay, so next one is the golf course, which is right about there. So I'm going to shut the lights off. Park up. If I just give myself away because that car just came to a grinding halt and it really freaked me out. I'm hoping not. But that, that chopper will have seen that. I spoke about his eagle eyes earlier. Oh, the thing is, he also had the sneaky tactic of flying high enough so I can't hear his blades. <laughs> also, it's an absolute pain in the ass for me to get the camera angle to span high enough up so I could see whether or not he is just literally hovering above me and telling everyone right. Got this, this suspicious car. He's over by a golf course. He's at the top end of it. The top corner. Can anyone get over to it? I don't see him. I think I might have freaked out a little bit early. There's nothing wrong with being safe. Being cautious. I might do a UE round. I might do a full circle around the block. Yeah, I'm not going to do it. I normally would flip a UE and just make it quick, but I don't want to risk it. I feel like, for some reason, I just had a gut feeling then that I had a pair of eyes on me. Or I had a pair of eyes that could have seen if I did something silly. There was a lot of cars parked here. This would be brilliant also, just to sort of park my car up, hop over, and then blow a car up. But the problem is, is there's no gap in that fence, and there'll be a long run across the... Uh, the golf course. At least, if I, if at least, if a very last resort, I can always park the car up if I was to get into a chase inside the golf course. Park it up against the hedge, jump over, get, cut and steal a new car, and go. Because there's quite a few for me to pick. But again, I'd go for something that's in with actually someone driving in it. There's a chop. That's a chopper. Um. A chopper, that's a, oh, of course it's a chopper, it's a police chopper, that's what I was trying to say. I swear there is openings for the golf course along here. Or am I wrong? I could have sworn there was. So, like totally totally hmm. I guess there is, but it's just the other end of the golf course, just not down here. It's slightly frustrating. Could have sworn there was a little sneaky entry exit. I guess not. I'm just basically following this car in front of me, he's sort of leading the way, and I'm just sort of gladly following suit. Right, well, it's been a pretty good hunt so far. We've had 12 hours, two cars. We're looking for our third one, so we're going to be in good shape if we can get this one and then roll away nice and easy. I'm going to go next to him, and I'm then going to do a quick drag race to beat him off the line. So we're going to watch that red, that green light. So I can be imagining in real life, so what I've done is I've got the handbrake on, getting the red slightly going, waiting for it to go green, and then as soon as it goes green, it's handbrake down, and vroom! <laughs> off I go. I'm not a boy racer at all. What are you on about? <laughs> Come on, Jacob, watch the red light. Watch the red light. I'm ready. I feel like we need to get the Mario Kart music getting going. And then it's like the three, D, 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 go! Oh my god, the timing! How is he beating me off the line? <laughs> that timing was ridiculous, can I say? It's almost like I knew it was about to go. <laughs> oh, this made me chuckle at least. Oh, car's parked up. Don't want that. But I will do though. Let's go back to where I was originally meant to be parked up. Right, I've done this strategy a few times. It works. I'm not gonna... Don't bash it if it... I mean, I'm assuming it's over there. It's the only one that's blue. And I think I can see the vague shape of one, so we're gonna assume it is, and we're gonna jump over, do my sneaky little strategy, and come away. What do you need, exactly? Okay, I will take care of it. Come on, when you're ready, mate. Matey, when you're ready. 
Got to find a region where it's lower down so we can jump up. There we go, like that. Oh my god, that's bounced off, you bastard. Oh, excuse the language, how do they say that? Okay, as long as I can cock it, drop it. Watch it blow up. Oh, I've gone to a high part of the map, of the, the, uh, the map or the fence. Oh my god. Get those wheels spinning much more, Jacob. Jesus. Okay, we're then going to scooch up this way. And stop by one of my usual, the usual starting spot and just sort of loop around that way. Because this is like this is like the tippy top part of the map. It's not like not much further north than this, but it's okay. So it's all good, mate. Don't worry about it. Don't question what I'm doing. Um, I'm gonna just pick up a little bit of speed and just carry it on this way. Oh, you're gonna cut me up, Jackal? No, you're not. Oh, you cheeky, cheeky, cheeky. All right, and then we're gonna. Oh, and then we had another Jackal take me out. Sheesh. Okay, right, so I do have this minute and a half to use guys to maybe rush over to another objective and go over that way. I'm thinking we could probably use the highway now to sort of quickly get my ass all the way over to Arena and get that one down there. And, uh, yeah, see how we're doing with this one. We're actually not doing too badly this one. I'm really managing to sort of get away quickly from the objectives and sort of avoid any sort of suspicion from the hunters I mean I say getting away quickly from the objectives there was me in the um the second car I blew up just literally chilling there watching the action go uh, unfolding in front of my own eyes but um it worked out nicely I nearly got bumped into it, it was the one where he's um, Mark crashed into a uh, fire truck literally right next to me because him crashing into the fire truck could have led his camera to literally then spot the car with a person sat in front of it and go <laughs> <laughs> oh my god oh basically i where i've got that from is uh, so i'm at work, where at work we listen to the radio a lot and there's like this ad for last christmas which is like for top cashback and they had like a hummingbird and um he used to sort of react like hmm? Hmm? <laughs> oh, that's what that was inspired from anyway not sponsored at all, by the way, can I just say. It was just that I happened to watch the ad, and that was, yeah, that's what came into my head. But, yeah. Um, and anyway, my whole point was, basically, he then sees someone in the car and then gets curious. But it didn't work out like that. Also, that Sentinel, because uh, he had an impromptu, he could have also gotten suspicious or sort of was questioning what was going on. But, no, thankfully for us, we're still going. And we are making our way quickly on the highway towards the arena car park. Which I'm more than happy about. Oh, I should have taken the exit there. No, I shouldn't have. I've done the right one. Phew. Yeah, I basically, I want to avoid the stop and start of the the city. So this way leads me on to... There we go. This highway bit. Oh, so, yes, car park. So red car park also has a car on the top floor for it. This car park to my right is also one of the cars I might have to go for. Car parks I might have to go for. Yeah, this is fine. Uh, to go for if I don't get five. But we've managed to do three. We've got mm, nine hours left. So we should be able to do it. As long as I get one in four and a half hours. One, each one in four and a half hours. We should be good to go. Uh, we're going to cut up here now, I think. I think we've done enough on the highway. I could have actually done the next junction. Tell a lie. But hey, we're good doesn't bother me lovely okay well this hunt has been a bit of an interesting one we've had some of our hairy sticky questionable situations we've seen a fair few hunters not any of them noticed me or seen me which is a good thing yeah we still have all of them in lobby oh we even a late come of AJ's rocked up so there we go we've got 11 hunters and they haven't seen me at all <laughs> oh dear we also, quite arguably, have within our mists uh, Lucid, who I think has sort of been mutually agreed upon as our like best shooter within the Hunters. Like the amount of times I've had a shootout with him, and he's come out on top every single time. 
Man's just good. He's just good at the game. There's no way to say about it. He just knows how to utilise those pistols. You know, can't shift him. But we also have Interceptor, who's had a bit of a break from us, but he's back now. He's arguably probably the best chaser. His communications are incredible. And so both of them are in my mitts, and so I must admit, I was he <laughs> I was nervous. Even the guys at the start were going, <laughs> they're both here, yeah, good luck, Jacob. See you in seven minutes or something like that. <laughs> so I'm not trying to big myself up or anything, but the fact that I've managed to get to where I am now, I'm actually proud of myself already at this point. Oh, <sighs> So yeah, anyway, come on, keep your heads. Is it from out the clouds? Because you're so high... Oh, you know, I've screwed up that expression. Ignore that. I didn't say anything. I don't want to talk about it. We're going to move on. So we're heading towards the arena. Oh. Oh. Jesus, that's some jankiness. Okay, so if we were to carry on down this street. So you see that tall building above the... What is this? Is it Ring Donuts? Ring of Fire Chili House. So Ring of Fire Chili House. This is like this big tall building in the background. So that is the police thing. Uh, they may be pleading. Just the other side of that is a smaller, not so tall car park, multi-story car park. That one is one of the other three that I have to go. That I can go for if I don't get five. But again, we're making good time, so I'm all I'm happy. Happy as Larry. I'm just gonna skip those red lights because uh, I'm, I'm bored. I want to. So yeah, now we're at the red lights. Yeah, sorry, just seeing something on my phone, I got a little bit distracted, um, don't know what I was looking at, but yeah, anyway, here we are, we're going, okay, so 4.30, so we've got a bit of time left, we've got just under 8 hours, and I'm potentially going to get in my next car at the arena, which is quite good, I don't know whether or not it's worth me just sort of just chilling out and sort of playing it sensible for my fifth car, or if maybe... I race over from one to the other to make it a bit exciting and sort of not taunt them but like say to the guys yeah I've got five now already what are you going to do uh, that means I don't even have to worry about the car park rooftop I might do it anyway just for the sheer hell of it but um, the guys won't be then looking for it because they know oh okay he's done the five like GG's well done to him um, I guess it's just a case of spotting, if, spotting him if he does anything dodgy so, here's my next car, we're going over to the arena, but this could all go tits up, it could quite simply go... Oh, excuse, oh, excuse me, as we just see a hunter, I'm being pushed here, stupid thing, I don't know whether it's worth me just sort of circling around the block and waiting for that hunter to chill. He's gone, so we're good. So we we can sort of scooch up off here. So that was Charles just checking on his car. Whilst he's doing that, I might have to move, change my vehicle because of the broken headlight. And I see a jackal, which I'm more than happy to go for. So we're just going to quickly swap cars here first. Close the door. So we are going to get Lester ready. Uh oh. Act casual. Act casual. Yeah. <laughs> oh no, here comes another one. Okay. Hang on, right, okay, so now we're in a sticky situation because there's quite a few hunters about. Come on, just keep the car moving. Keep the car rolling. Oh my god. Okay, keep it going. That's it, keep it rolling, keep me rolling. Come on, oh no. Come on, oh, why would you get out this side? Why would you get out that side? 
Oh, uh, well, fair place to hunters. Now, this is where it gets interesting. Every car that I've blown up, that owner is now going to be in an orange car. And what that essentially now means, it's now changed from a survivor hunt to a hunt the survivors. So well done to the guys. They managed to, to find me. Um, I played it a little bit too casual. Maybe they were just over the um, this way a little bit too much and I wasn't aware of what was going on. Maybe they saw me, but fair place to them. It now changes. I now need, now need to get into a um, hunt the survivor vehicle. The uh, Tampa. Let me just call Lester and then I can not Lester my mechanic I also get blips as well at this point and basically to sort of redeem myself with the time that's left so that's less than six hours I want to see how many of those cars I can get that orange so once I've blown up a car the owner goes to change the car oh my god which one did I put it in the arena the other nice tamper I then just trying to see how many of them I can get so without further ado let me just go and turn the blips on and those whose car weren't blown up, they are just acting as a blocker, essentially. And that's how it's now going to roll for the rest of it. I have no idea where these orange ones are, but we will see in a second. Okay, so this is basically, it's to end the video in a slightly different way. So unfortunately, I, I couldn't do anything about it. They had enough numbers around me at that point that they managed to kill me. So fair play to him. I can't complain. Uh, you're not any of the orange ones, are you? No. I mean... I'll just kill one of you for the hell of it, hell of it anyway. Sorry, Hydro. <laughs> Uh-oh. Oh, there's orange! Go, 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 go! Okay, so basically this is what it is. They then, the ones who are left, have to act as blockers. He hasn't done too... <laughs> he hasn't too good a job. He doesn't need to when I'm doing that to myself. So... It's basically to have the ending of the hunt slightly different. Instead of me then having to sort of try and find some random content that you guys aren't going to watch to put in there. It's now me trying to find... Oh my god. Trying to find the guys and sort of see how many I can get them. Get within the the hours. So how many cars did I get? I think I managed to only get three. Yeah, so there's three of them running around. So if I can get three of them before the midday, which is less than five hours, then that will be good for me. I think one's just potentially running. He's just going to follow me, isn't he? Oh my god, this tamper is useless. Okay, Zombear. Did I get his car? I can't remember if I did. Didn't get Wes's. I think I might... He's so far out on the right hand side. I don't understand why else he'd be there. So he's got to be one of them that I went for. Which one did I... Uh, Mark, I know, was one of them. Thank you so much. <laughs> I'm just being bullied at this point. Okay. Okay. Come out, come out, wherever you are. Now, I must admit, this idea wasn't mine. So, one of my uh, hunter who used to do, he doesn't get involved anymore, unfortunately, because he doesn't have a console. Um, it's Beardy. He came up with this brilliant idea, and I'm just now just putting it into action, so... Thank you very much to him. Um, if you are watching Beardy, let me know if this is if you approve or not. If not, well, I, hopefully we can improve it in a way. This is also, you know, we're going to say like it is with most games get released nowadays. It's like it's in beta, so there's there's room for improvement. It's not sort of finalised, confirmed. What is that car doing up there? That's lucid. He's not got anything. Interceptor. Don't have his car. What's that below me? Intercept, he hasn't got anything. Thinking... Oh my god, I can't even... Well, they, they've got to be something, haven't they? No, they're over the casino, so we'll head over that way. Who's, did I actually get Jack's car? Where's, where was Jack's car? Zomba. Who's the FIB underground? Yes, I did get his car. Yes! Right, we're going for the right direction. Oh, Charles has spun out, buddy. Oh, he spun out. Oh, Jack. Jesus. He's done well there. Oh, he did carry on. I just got distracted by the orange mini. No. 
he's just going to cut straight across, isn't he? Oh, fair plays. I cannot direct through this traffic. God, it's difficult when you're the one who's chasing after people. I don't know where the other ones are. It's so difficult because I'm so they're all so spaced out. He's in an F620. That thing's rapid. I don't think I'm going to be able to chase him. Uh, I might have to cut him off. Where do we think he's going to go? I think he's just going to... Oh, he's gone up. He's gone up the ramp. Cheeky sod. Chance died. He must have had a spectacular explosion. What time is it? A49. Hmm. So we had... How many hours did we have left? We must have had eight, I think. So we've done 16 hours. I mean, that wasn't too bad of a hunt. I mean, I know the outro's a bit scuffed because I'm having to do something else now, but... You know, it's something different at the end of the day. Ooh, they're all crowded around Liam. He's on the highway. Hmm. No, not doing anything. Jack's over there. Which car did I get? I got Mar. I don't know where the hell he is. I haven't seen him at all. Marts, we've got Jacks, and who's the other one we got? Um, I can't remember. Oh, the golf course intercept is one of them. Why am I going after him? Oh, to be fair, he's going to hold his own, isn't he? I reckon he's. No, he's not on the highway. I'm not doing a very good job here, am I? Well, there's one telling them whereabouts I am. I mean, that's the thing. I've got this. This map is to basically make it a little bit more interesting. Meow. Oh, spectacular 360! Look at that, boys! Look at that, ladies and gentlemen! Come on! <laughs> I've just noticed I've got a bloody tail. <laughs> You're not the right bloody thing I need to be getting anyway. No, we'll ignore you two. I don't need our review. No, no one's here. There's Mart. See if I can go for him, maybe. I've not had luck with Jack. Not had luck with Interceptor. Let's see if we can have any fortune with Mart. He's on the highway. Thread the needle, thread the needle. Oh, he's you turned it. Where's he going? Where is I can't genuinely I can't figure out where the hell these are going. It's so difficult when you don't have, like, oh, I've, I'm chasing the wrong bloody blip now. <laughs> oh, fair plays. I'm, I'm, this has been tough. An hour and a half left, and I've, she's basically just utilizing oh, this big map. Jack's just chilling, I reckon. I don't think he's going to suspect if I come, if, if I go and get him, you know. There he is, there's a sword. Come on, Jack.
Come on, we just need to do some catch up now. Because that thing is quick. It's fine, we'll catch him, we'll catch him. We've got to get one before time's up, we've got less than an hour, we can do it. Ah, well played blocker. Well played. Oh, <laughs> landing on my roof, cheeky strategy. Oh, interesting celery cotton. Is he going to pay off? Oh. Oh, slam the brakes on. Oh, that's a nice try by Green. This is making this last bit exciting, at least. Yay! We got him. With 25 minutes to go. So, hey, we managed to get one. Uh, chance maybe he's there. He's not one of the targets I need. Uh, I think all the other ones are all there over the other side of the map. So we're just going to race away and see how far we can get. Uh, well, how close we can get at least. <laughs> just seeing the map. I just see about three or four dots behind me. I'm trying to see if any of those dots are any of the the ones I need, which is interceptor. Ooh. Yeah, one of them is. Oh my god, can you just, can you just get out of the way? Can you just get out of the way? I oh, I think that's it. It's gonna be time. Yep, that's it. That is time. Yep. And we're going to have the cops finish us off. Right, okay, so that is that for the this Survive the Hunt. So unfortunately we couldn't survive the hunt. We didn't quite manage it. The uh, guys managed to get me. They just circled me by the arena. And unfortunately, I'm going to die here. <laughs> A spectacular flip in the air. And there we go. Yes, now we can, don't have to worry about the cops. So yeah, unfortunately, we didn't get the, the win. Um, I think we had eight hours. Is it eight hours or ten hours left? I can't remember how many hours it was. But it was going so well. And then all of a sudden, like that, it just goes. It finishes. But hopefully you have enjoyed this sort of end towards it. So the whole point is, every time I blew up one of the cars, they went and spray painted the car orange. And then if I was to die, like in this one, I would then become a hunter with blips on. And I can then go and chase down and redeem myself. I got one out of three. Didn't really redeem myself too much, but it was a good chase as a zombie at the end. So there we go. If you have enjoyed the video, have enjoyed this slight tweak to the end, also tweak to the fact that I don't have to give you random content, it's slightly related to this, then please let me know in the comments. Um, also let me know if you just enjoyed the hunt itself as well. And yeah, that is it. Thank you very much for watching. Like, if you're new around here, please subscribe too. We're going to grow this channel. We're nearly to 1,100 as well. And until next time, Jade Gaming, out of Mundo.